Coming up on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine, it's deer season in South Carolina, and Bob will take you on two South Carolina deer hunts on his own property. Plus, he'll introduce you to some new rifles from Browning that you may want to look at. And on this week's Sportsman's Table, we feature another South Carolina certified recipe. Stay tuned. All the action is starting right now. This has been a great day. We shot this. Look at that. Wow. Let me hold that thing. Nice. Welcome to our show this week, folks. It's all about deer hunting. It's all about you. And I tell you what, we've got some great products to show you, but I've got a couple of special deer hunts that I want to take you to this week. And well, I tell you what, rather than talking about them, let's go right to the first one. Deer hunting in the Southeast in South Carolina. Well, folks, listen, uh, decided to get back in the stand today. It's been raining. It's dreary off and on. Uh, it's early afternoon. Uh, these deer have been coming out uh, earlier than normal, okay? The does will come out first. Um, and so I've just got up here, I've got my ATN binos, got them ready to go. Uh, I've got my ATN uh, video scope ready to go on my Browning MK3 BAR 308. And, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, what I'm shooting today. This is the Browning BXR 308. Uh, made by Browning, the best there is, obviously. Um, but it's just one of those kind of days that off and on it rains, it's about 41 degrees. These deer have been coming out earlier. Uh, they've been coming often. They've been staying. But one of the things that I've been finding that's really unique is these deer are coming out to eat the greenery first in the food plot as opposed to going to the supplemental feeders and, and eating up all of, all of that first. You would think it would be the opposite, but it's not. So the mixture I've got out in the field is, of course, is some Durana clover. I've got deer greens, turnips, radishes. I've got winter wheat. Um, and so that mixture that I've got out there has not had a chance to really get up very high like it normally has, because we've been in a drought and, and you know, every hunter seems to have an excuse for something, but I had to replant this field twice this year, just merely because we didn't have any any rain. So um, the deer seem to, to come to it now, even though they're not letting it get up very high, and that's okay, it will, but that's what it's out here for. But with that, ah, wait a minute. Okay, I got a, I got a couple of does. Let me get my binos on here. I got a couple of does that are coming out. Okay. And I tell you what, these video scopes and these video binos, when you're hunting by yourself, absolutely a great tool, okay? Because again, I don't always require uh, Jerry, my partner and producer, to come up here all the time because as you all well know, there's two things that you kill a lot of time at. Deer hunting, and turkey hunting, okay? And so I am on my own property here doing this. I know these patterns of the deer because I've been using my spy point camera this year. That's kind of a unique thing. We could talk about that a little bit. I use a combination of, of Browning trail cameras and spy point. And that has really helped me doing my scouting process through this whole season. But um, we've got a couple of does and just watching them a little bit. Okay, now they keep looking back down in the woods. Now what I've noticed is looking back down in the woods all the time, there's something down there. It's either does are following on and they're coming up to eat because they always send out a scout. And one of them is a pretty good size one on the left. Uh, the other one, not so much. She seems to be a little bit spooky. Okay. Okay, the doe's left. Oh man, here's that buck. It's just raining off and on. That is a nice eight pointer, good body size. Okay, man, he's almost in the same spot. Binos. 
Okay, folks, I, I've got one down. I, I have to put in a shout out for the good folks at Winchester Ammunition who manufacture Browning, the best there is. This is the BXR 155 grain 308 Winchester round that I use in my Browning MK3 BAR 308. Um, I use this rifle in a 308 because the video capability in this scope uh, is good with three, uh, 308 and under, okay? And so that's one of the reasons that I do that. I've got that uh, range on that buck is about 64 yards. So relatively close when I come in here, and that's the reason I set it up this way. Uh, you don't need to be 30 feet in the air. You don't need to be 250 yards away, okay? It just doesn't need to happen like that. The farther you are away, the more chance it is that you're going to miss, okay? And, and you all have seen tons of deer shows that they miss or whatever. Some don't, some do. But again, this is not the magic of TV. And you saw through the video scope exactly what I saw. You all saw it. And you saw it through the Bino video as well, because it just, I just had the opportunity to have that thing up here and, and it's such a great tool especially when you're by yourself so with that uh, let's go retrieve this thing before it starts uh, getting any uh, any nastier out here again it's it's just been one of those days here in South Carolina that uh, it's right for deer hunting uh, again early afternoon but the rain well they come anyway oh, I gotta get this Hummer out of here before it starts raining all right, all right, big boy. Man, okay. Ha. Let's get you to the barn. Stay tuned for more deer hunting on this week's Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. For great food, amazing views, and the best live entertainment, there's no better place in Merle's Inlet than Deck 383. Located on the beautiful Waccamaw River, you can sit outdoors on our spacious deck and enjoy the sunset over the river, or you can just relax and listen to your favorite music with friends. Enjoy great food that's prepared fresh daily and cooked to order. And if you enjoy karaoke or live music, Deck 383 is the place to be for locals and tourists. Get away from the crowd and join us at Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Out here, you need a ride you can depend on and strength you can rely on. You need a boat that tackles the elements and handles the tackle. You need the quality and peace of mind only one brand delivers, the all-new Ranger FS Pro. It's raising the bar with more brains, more broad, and more bragging rights. The Ranger FS Pro Series, technology that makes waves, strength that crushes them. Use caution when crossing an obstacle with a loaded gun. First, unload the gun, cover the muzzle with your hat, Place the gun under the obstacle pointed away from you, and after safely crossing, reload and continue hunting. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. How's it going? Wow, what do we got over here? This is the all new Chevy Silverado. It's beautiful. Beefy and mean looking. It's the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, and it's full of surprises. 
It offers an industry first power up down tailgate. I kind of didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, oh my God. Oh, the Silverado has more cargo volume than any competitor. Very impressive. It's got 20% oh. more than F-150. That is really nice. Is there a buy it now button on there too? <laughs> yeah. No matter if you're hunting private property or public property, make sure you're wearing an orange hat, vest, or coat of solid, visible international orange so that you will be seen and identified as a hunter, not as a game animal. Wearing visible orange could save your life. Be safe, be seen. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department. It's a matter of taste. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By Wakawachi Marina and Deck 383, located in Murrells Inlet, South Carolina. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. And by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the first deer hunt on this week's show. I'm getting ready to go on another one. Okay, it's it's cold, it's windy, uh, it's deer season here in South Carolina and the southeast. So I'm getting ready to head over to the stand. I tell you what, follow along because I tell you what, I think we're going to have some great action again today. Full moon? Ah, who cares about that? That's okay. I'm going to go anyway. Well, folks, I climbed into the stand this afternoon. Uh, it's full moon, uh, the temperatures have dropped, the wind's been blowing, and I just kind of want to set the stage for you. Um, and there have been a lot of bucks that I've picked up on my spy point and my Browning game cameras. So even though the full moon is out there, I know that these deer are coming up to the field. Um, they have just absolutely decimated the food plot, which is okay. That's why I put it out there and as well as the supplemental feed program. So anyway, I've got everything that I need today. I've got um, my ATN binos and video binos. I've got a new uh, site that I'm gonna talk to you about maybe a little bit later in the show. And I've got this brand new Browning X-Bolt um, 6.5 Creedmoor that we're gonna try and uh, take this deer with today. So uh, with that, uh, let's just kinda stand by and see what happens. Side shot. Let's see if the 6.5 Creedmoor will do the trick today. Okay, video rolling. All right. He took off to the left. That's okay. I don't think he went far. All right, there we go. Ooh. We'll give it just a few minutes and then we'll head on over and see if we can locate the deer. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this deer. Uh, it was a little bit more difficult. Uh, you know, the weather patterns have just been really up and down. I mean, one day it's 80, the next day it's, it's freezing. Um, we've had rain intermittently. I'm not complaining, but you wanna know what the weather's gonna be? Wait 12 hours and here in the south, it'll probably change. Full moon, all those kind of things. I'll tell you what, I've kind of dispelled this because these deer started coming out about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, lots of bucks with them, as you can see uh, on the video. But this was a nice eight point. He was a little bit older, probably needed to come out of the herd. The gene pool needed to be changed. But one of the things that I enjoy is I took it on my own property. So let's uh, head on back up. And we got some other things I want to show you this week. I want to really take a look at the Browning X-Bolt gold medallion 6.5 Creedmoor that I've actually been shooting and took this deer with. Well, folks, on today's show, I just want to take a few minutes and time out and talk to you about this beautiful Browning X-Bolt white gold medallion and 6.5 Creedmoor. It has a 22-inch barrel length and also 41 and 3 quarters overall. It's just a pleasure to shoot, as you can see on the show this week. Browning has over 50 years of experience with bolt-action high-powered rifles. Today's X-Bolt rifle inherits the strongest, most noteworthy features of its predecessors. 
The X-Boat White Gold model has a Monte Carlo stock. This feature is recognized as the comb steps sharply down toward the heel of the buttstock. It allows more contact between the recoil pad of the stock and the shooter's shoulder. With this design, the recoil of the fired shell comes directly back or in line with the stronger part of the inner shoulder. It makes the rifle more pleasant to shoot, especially when a long day at the range is expected. Beautiful? You bet. Is it okay for some guns to be referred to as beautiful? Even though they are still hard work and hunting tools, the X-Bolt White Gold is beautifully adorned with a polished stainless steel receiver that is drilled and tapped for scope mounts with engravings both the front and rear end. This rifle also has a polished stainless steel barrel. Its stock has a high gloss finish, finely checkered with a rosewood forend and its grip cap. Listen folks, it takes a combination of great things to have a hunt like we did today. One of the things I want to talk about besides the Browning X-Bolt and the Browning Ammunition 6.5 Creedmoor that we had on the show today, I want to talk about the optics that I used. It's ATN's it is an X-Sight 4K Pro. It has 1080i video, and that's the video that you actually saw me shoot the deer with today. It is wonderful, and when it's mounted on this Browning X-Bolt, what a combination, okay? Again, Browning ammo, Browning firearms, the best there is. If you want to know more about Browning and all their great products, just log on to Browning.com and locate a dealer near you. Browning, the best there is. When we come back, we head to the sportsman's table for another great recipe from Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. In the wild, nature dictates that when it's time to eat, animals will instinctively find and devour the meal that satisfies them most. In the water, Berkeley Powerbait's scientifically proven formula triggers the natural predatory instinct in bass. Now available in a plethora of shapes, sizes, and colors. Berkeley Powerbait. Fish bite and won't let go. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small-town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. When is the last time you traced your roots? Not your family's roots. The roots of the food you eat. Those roots should run deep, not from afar. Just like the legacy of farmers here in South Carolina. Day in, day out, farmers from every corner of our state are carrying on the traditions of bringing locally grown food to your table. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. We're here in Merle's Inlet at Deck 383 on the Waccamaw River with another great chef guest this morning, and it's Chef Robert Joseph from Costa Cafe here in Merle's Inlet. He's got another great recipe for us this week, and one of my favorite scallops, Robert. Thank you. How are we going to put this one together? This, this looks like an awesome, awesome recipe. We have these beautiful scallops from Seven Seas Seafood. Okay. Local. Okay, and it's a white uh, truffle cream sauce. So we're going to put a nice sear on the scallops. Yeah. And then we're going to make a nice white truffle cream sauce with some nice local ingredients uh, from Lee's Farm. And we'll put it all together for you. There you go. Okay, well, let's get started. 
Just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. Those are huge scallops. Yeah, they are. Wow. Monster. Mm. None of that teeny weeny stuff. No. At seven seas. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> there you go. Now that that's certified South Carolina right there. I'm Absolutely. telling you. Absolutely. Now how long are you gonna let them sear for? You're gonna let them sear for um, about four or five minutes okay. on each side. Okay. Right. Especially when they're this thick. If you got some little tiny baby ones, you can go a lot less. I got you. But you want to make sure they're cooked all the way through. Okay. Okay, Robert, we've got our scallops are seared. Now what's next? Okay, now we're going to create the uh, white truffle cream sauce. Oh, wow, okay. Very simple um, to do. So we're just going to add... Hard to say, but simple to make. <laughs> Hard to say, simple go. to make. <laughs> A little bit of red onion. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can use shallot if you choose. Yep. Okay. Garlic. A little mm. bit of chopped garlic. Spice of life. We're going to do a little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Okay. A little bit of fresh herbs mm, right yeah. from Lee's farm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to do a little white wine. Oh, wow. Ah. Mm. Man, that, is, that smells good even that it's, far. Yeah, it's delicious. And you're just going to let it reduce. Okay. okay. Once it reduces probably by about half, you're going to add your heavy cream and then finish it from there. Okay. All right, Robert, have we reduced it down enough? We've gone all the way down as, we, as far as we need to go. We're okay. going to add our little bit of heavy cream. Oh, wow. Mm. That, that adds the truffle in the white sauce, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then you're going to add a little bit of uh, butter. Okay. You, you, you all never cease to amaze me. The recipes you guys can come up with. Mm. That now, how long are you gonna just let the butter melt and then we're ready? You're gonna let the butter melt. You're just gonna let it uh, thicken up. Oh, we're gonna add some, a couple of our uh, sun-dried tomatoes here as well. Okay. Give it a little color. A little bit of color. You can uh, add some more fresh herbs. Mm. Wow. Okay. And then maybe another pinch of salt. Oh yeah. Pinch of pepper. Okay. And you want it to come down. Pretty much all the way. Okay. And then we're also gonna we're gonna add a little bit of white truffle here. Mm. Now we're putting the truffle in the white sauce. Now we're putting ah, the truffle okay. in the white sauce. All right. Yeah, you can smell it. All right, Robert, is our sauce ready to go? Our sauce is ready, nice okay. and thick. There's only one anticipation left, and that's putting it on there. All there right. you go. Mm. Oh my goodness! Let's wow. scoop it out the pan. Oh yeah. Wow. Presentation. Just a little bit on each scallop. Mmm. And it smells. It just smells great. It wow. is delicious. I love white truffle. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. And those are, all that those, stuff I can't, I can't get over the size of those scallops. Wow. Ooh, that's a meal in itself. Look at there. Wow. Okay. Mm. So we have the sauce. Okay. We have our uh, Crispy fried prosciutto. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Oh my goodness. That's why you left those gaps in there. <laughs> okay, now I get you. And then we have some, uh, just some local uh, mixed microgreens. Okay. Okay, right from Lee's Farm. There you go. And you can do this however you want to do it. Oh goodness. That, that is. That is a great looking dish. Mm. And there, there you, you go. It. Robert, thank you so much. I appreciate you being a guest on the show My today. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. That is awesome. Cafe Costa, okay, right here in Myrtle's Inlet. And folk, listen, come on down to Deck 383 on the Waccamaw River. Come on down and get some great certified SE grown produce. I tell you what, just come on down and, and have dinner, lunch. Just come on down and enjoy this beautiful setting behind us. And stay tuned because next week we're going to be right back here again with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. We'll see you then. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy certified South Carolina grown products. It's a matter of taste. Southern Woods Plantation.
the name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southernwoods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southernwoods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. This reel allows you to cover more water, make more casts, giving you more opportunities to catch more fish. The new Revo Rocket, Abu Garcia for life. How's it going? Wow, what we got over here? This is the all new Chevy Silverado. It's beautiful. Beefy and mean looking. It's the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, and it's full of surprises. Oh, nice. It offers an industry first power up down tailgate. I kind of didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, oh my. Oh, the Silverado has more cargo volume than any competitor. Very impressive. It's got 20% oh. more than F 150. That is really nice. Is there a buy it now button on there too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bob Red Fern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's Just Better Outdoors. By Abu Garcia. Abu Garcia for life. By Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition. Browning, the best there is. By Southern Woods Plantation. Offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting and by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed our show this week. It's coffee time for me. I tell you what, one thing that I want to point out to y'all, it's the first time in a long time that I've had to be able to focus on filling the buck tags that I get every year, and I did it right here on my own property. All the work, all the scouting, all those great things, and all the combinations that you've seen us do on our deer hunting shows this year, well, it all came to fruition, and I tell you what, I hope you enjoyed viewing it as much as I did doing it. So with that, I just want to say thank you all very much for all of your participation in our shows, and with that, the outdoors is my passion. I still want it to be yours too. Get out out, get out in the woods, get on the water, and I tell you what, it'll pay off for you as well. We'll be right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.